The Idaho Vandals shot to victory on Thursday and Saturday, defeating the Northern Arizona Lumberjacks 78-43 and the Southern Utah Thunderbirds 76-49. Idaho head coach John Newley attributed the wins to the Vandals' improved defense. Our defense, I think uh, this homestand, man, we really got after NAU uh, on Thursday, and I thought we continued that effort, uh, particularly in the second half tonight. You know, we talked at halftime about up in our intensity level. I thought they were might be getting a little tired, uh, the Thunderbirds there, so I thought we could really ramp the stuff up, and I thought uh, defensively did a great job tonight. Number one guard Christina Salvatore said this home sweep was just what the team needed. We're just trying to move up in the rankings at this point and get ourselves a good spot in that tournament, so I think this, this home sweep is, is great for us. It's what we needed. It gives us some confidence and um, a lot, much needed energy um, boost going into this Montana road trip. On top of the two wins, the Vandals have further cause for celebration as number 10 senior guard Stacy Barr became the fourth on Idaho's all-time scoring list, surpassing Mary Martin, who led the Vandal women to the Mountain West Athletic All-Conference title in the 1984-1985 to season. It's, it's great. I mean, I, I never really liked talking about my scoring, but um, yeah, it's um, an honor to be up there with some of the great players that played here. These two games put Idaho at 12 and 13 overall and 6 and 8 in the Big Sky Conference. The women's basketball team will face the Montana State Bobcats, who defeated the Vandals 76 to 65 in their last meet. For the Argonaut, this is Andrew Jensen.